I'm Alex, and I'm the Outreach Officer for SCOPE. Photonics is the study of light and light-based systems, and I feel that these systems are going to be the way of the future. Photonics education gives me the skills I need to work in this particular field. One of the key examples of this is the internet. Internet services using fiber-based systems are much quicker than their traditional copper counterparts. Uh, for example, my internet speed increased by four times switching to a fiber. And there's even talks these days of having your internet connection coming from your indoor lights instead of via a router. Light-based systems are also being used for things such as detecting gas leaks, sensors on self-driving cars, and indoor positioning. During my undergraduate degree, I used light to make a magnetic microscope through polarization. And these days for my PhD project, I'm once again using light to automate manufacturing and to help it make it more sustainable. I feel that light is going to be really important these years. Hello, my name is Matej, and I'm currently a PhD student in physics at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow. My favorite fields of physics are those studying light, namely optics and photonics. Uh, what I find fascinating about light is that it comes in so many shapes and forms, from starlight all the way down to fireflies, from light bulbs to high power lasers. My interest in optics came from being a photographer when I was younger. After all, a camera is a device used to capture light, and lenses are complex optical systems. In optics and photonics, you can focus on so many different things. You can discover new stars, you can study microbes and bacteria in microscopes, you can build a quantum computer, or you can make a self-driving car understand its surroundings using lidars. In my work, I study how lasers can exhibit the same dynamical behavior as biological neurons and how this functionality could be used to build a new generation of high-speed, energy-efficient hardware for artificial intelligence. As you can see, there are essentially no bounds to what light can do, and that makes the field really exciting.